Hi, my name is Kong and I am currently postdoctoral researcher at University of Chiang Rai. You are seeing me because you are in my course named Finite Element Analysis Group and Lab Analysis. So, what you will learn? Firstly, you will learn key formulations in solid mechanics and finite element analysis. Why I said key formulations? Because you, you already know that learning theory is very boring. So in the course, probably I will not explain very details in terms of meaning of physics. I just give you a summary about key formulations that we will use during the course and we must to remember we must to know because in this course we not only use ANSYS program but we also coding in MATLAB so we need to know the formulations so that is the reason why I will give you key formulation here the second thing we will step by step writing MATLAB codes for many different examples and we also write the input files that use for ANSYS for the same example, right? So the first theory of tutorial, I will cover 1D, 2D, and 3D structure for just elements. Remember, for just elements. Firstly, we will investigate 1D just examples, and then we increase to 2D and then 3D, of course. We have different example for 1D, we have different example for 2D, and so on. After the first series of just element, we will go to the second series, which is 2D plate for plane stress and plane chain conditions. So in that series of tutorials, the key formation also provided, and then we will try to practice FEM codes and ANSYS for 2D plates subjected to in plane noting for plane chest and plane chain conditions. The different structure from simple to more complex structure will be investigated. And finally, we jump to the third section, which is investigate 3D solid structures. And again, key formation in finite element analysis will be provided. And then we will investigate a 3D structure. And we will try to write the FEM codes. We also try to write ANSYS on input files. And we also try to extract the result and make comparison. So through our own example of the course, we will conduct three main activities. First, we will learn key formation. Second, write FEM codes and run the example in MATLAB. Next, we write input files in ANSYS and run the example in ANSYS and after that we will extract the result from ANSYS extract the result from our FEM code and make comparison to verify our knowledge and coding practice so what skills you will learn firstly when you write FEM codes using MATLAB you will learn how to create FEM model inside MATLAB how to import mesh from ANSYS to MATLAB for your FEM model and how to calculate steam magic, mass magic for 1D, 2D and 3D structures and how to apply boundary conditions and loading conditions and finally how to solve the equation of motion to obtain displacement fields and after that you will learn how to post-process your FEA result. For example, you will learn how to extract ANSYS result, how to create high-quality plots, and how to calculate stress chain in both ANSYS and in both your FEM code. When you are practicing ANSYS, you also learn firstly, how to write ANSYS input files for 1D, 2D, 3D structures. And you will understand meaning of every single command in ANSYS and finally how to check and post-process FEA result from ANSYS and then import that result to our MATLAB. So here is the outline of the course. From lecture 1 to 4, 
I will provide key formations that we must know from lecture 5 to 11, both theory and examples for 1D just element will be provided. And from lecture 12 to 18, the theories and examples for 2D just element will be investigated. From lecture 19 to 22, the theory and examples for 3D just element also provided. And from lecture 23 to 30, theory and example for 2D plane structure, both plane chain or plane stress condition is presented. And then after that, we jump to the 3D structure from lecture 31 to 35, the theory, key formations, an example for 3D solid structure are presented. And after that, to summarize all the content of the course, a practical exercise will be given in lecture 36. Of course, the feedbacks will be provided up on your request. For example, when you finish the exercise, you can send me and I will view and send back to you my comments. And finally, the conclusion about the course and the outlook for the near future study will be given. So even now, if you have any questions, send me an email. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and see you on the next tutorials.